Now, in Photoshop, we have pasted our geometric lines from Adobe Illustrator. Um, and the next thing we need to do is invert these lines because you see how in the bottom part of my picture it's really dark and you can't really see the black. So we're going to invert those lines. So we're going to use the shortcut Command I, which will invert the lines to white. So now your lines should be white. In the Layers palette in Photoshop, we're going to rename the layer for our lines. Lines. Inspired, I know. All right, next you're going to select the Magic Wand tool. Magic Wand tool, which is here. It's in the fourth tool folder uh, from the top. Right now it's selected on the Object Selection tool, but we're going to select the Magic Wand tool, and it will look like a magic wand. Um, then with the layer, the lines layer selected, so make sure the lines layer is the one that's light gray, you're going to click to make a selection of the first geometric shape. So I'm going to choose this triangle right here. So it's going to select the inside of that geometric shape layer. Then you're going to select the background layer. <clears throat> then you're going to select the background layer in your layers palette. Then move back over to your, tool, to your toolbar and select your marquee tool, or you can use the keyboard shortcut M. You're going to select the marquee tool to allow the selection to be moved elsewhere in the document, okay? Then you're going to click and drag the marquee somewhere else. So I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to drag it over here in the corner of my image. Then I will choose Copy, Command C. And then I will paste the selection, Command V. And you'll notice a new layer has been created, but it doesn't look like anything different happened over here. Um, so then you can use your move tool and you will see that selection. Click on that selection and drag it into the area of your geometric shape. So now I've copied a portion of this photograph and I've pasted it into my document and I've moved it over here to fit. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. Now you're going to repeat that process a jillion times until your geometric shapes have been filled in. Okay, so again, choose your lines layer, magic wand tool, and the keyboard shortcut for the magic wand tool is W. Click inside one of your geometric shapes. Click the background layer in your layers palette. Copy, Command C, paste, Command V. It automatically generates a new layer. Use your move tool and you can slide it over. Oops, I forgot to move it with the marquee. I lied. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> so you're going to choose the magic wand tool. Select your shape. Make sure you're on the layers or the lines layer. Select your geometric shape. Marquee tool. Move your marquee elsewhere in your photograph. Click on your background layer. Copy, Command C, paste, Command V. Use your move tool and drag it back into the puzzle piece where that is layered. Okay, let's do that one more time. Magic wand tool, lines layer, click in one of your shapes, use your marquee tool, move that marquee elsewhere in your image, select your background layer, copy, paste, use your move tool, and move that puzzle piece over into your geometric lines. And then continue to do that, um, periodically saving as you go, so that way your computer, if your computer accidentally crashes, uh, everything's saved. Um, once you have pieces in there, you'll notice there might be a couple little spots where you need to nudge. Zoom in with Command Plus, use your move tool, and then you can use your arrow keys to nudge that shape over 
a little bit to fill in your holes. Okay, once you have that, if you wanna zoom back out, you can either do Command minus to zoom out or Command zero to snap it back to full screen. Make sure you're saving as you go and then just continue on till you filled the whole geometric shape.